Well, good morning, Marcel. Good morning to all your viewers. Yeah, we've had this problem for quite some time now, and it's been driven by that good old drum that everyone's been beating in South Africa, and that's the collapse of the railways. Mm. So what has happened is, according to Transnet, that the Eastern Ore, Ore Line, which is everyone knows is the Richards Bay Coal Line, um, which carries a fair amount of ore down to Richards Bay. It's different types. It's coal and it's iron or manganese or chrome ores um, down to the port is not operating efficiently or at its maximum. It's about at 50% according to Transnet. And that means those exports have to get to the port somehow. And the only somehow, because we can't send it by plane, the only somehow, the only alternative are trucks or is trucks. So now we see queues of trucks trying to get into the port. And as you correctly stated, the port wasn't designed to take hundreds of trucks a day offloading, turning around and going out. It just wasn't built for that. In those days when it was built, it was built primarily for rail. So now you have congestion inside the port because the trucks need to be able to offload somewhere. And obviously, in the letter from Transnet, they're talking about those temporary stacking points or dumping sites from where these minerals are then taken to the ship. They're beginning to fill up. There's no space to turn around in the port. And obviously, it's a laborious process. It takes the truck some time to do that. So entry into the port begins to slow down, and you get these long queues of trucks stacking up trying to get into mm. the port. 